This quick start video shows how to record your iPhone or iPad display using Reflector 3's basic mirror and record functions. We'll use the iPhone 11 with iOS 14.0.1 and iPad 2 with iOS 9.3.6. The steps may change for other devices or other iOS versions. The user's guide video shown below describes all Reflector 3 settings, including the settings described in this video. There are clickable links to playlists, iPhone and iPad, at the end of this video, and each playlist contains both videos. Here's how to mirror the iPhone or iPad on the PC. Before mirroring your device, cancel the auto lock display function so the display won't time out while you're recording. To disable auto lock on the iPhone 11, open settings, display and brightness, auto lock, and click never. To disable auto lock on the iPad 2, open settings, general, auto lock and click never. Don't forget to reset auto lock after recording to prevent quickly discharging your device battery. Start Reflector 3 on your PC. The first time you use Reflector 3 initialize these settings. Click the gear wheel, click preferences. On the general tab Check Use System Name. Show Client Name on Hover. Always on top. Do not check on Startup. On the Connection tab, click the top setting, which is your monitor resolution. Set Best for High DPI. Airplay Security, None. On Connection, Connect and Show Device. Show frame automatically. Do not check display full screen on my system that caused severe problems. The bottom things have to do with display full screen, so don't check either one of those. On the recording tab, best for single device. Recording background, set it to some pleasing color. It will surround the mirror display in your recordings. Here's how to change it. Click the arrowhead and select a color. Recording frames per second, 30. Recording quality, high. Network, I made no changes. Advanced, normal for logging level, enabled for AirPlay, disabled for Google Cast and MirrorCast. Do not launch at login. Do not use classic renderer and include control window and automatic layout. When you're finished, click OK at the bottom. That will save all the changes and close the window. Next, we'll show you how to record the mirror display using the built-in record function in Reflector 3. But before we do, I'd like to recommend that you record the mirror display with a screen recorder instead of with the built-in record function. It's slightly more complicated but you can point with the cursor to supplement your narration. You have flexibility to include other items in your recording, and you can specify an aspect ratio of 16 to 9 that's compatible with YouTube. To use Recorder 3's record function, keep watching this video. To use the screen recorder instead, pause this video and watch video How to Record Videos with Cyberlink Screen Recorder 2 in playlist basic editing with PowerDirector 18. There's a link to that playlist in the video description. We'll show the steps to record on the iPhone 11. The steps on other devices are exactly the same. To record with Reflector 3, open the app or document you want to record on your device. If you want to narrate the recording you're about to make, click the symbol to select the microphone on the computer. Click this symbol and make sure you've selected the correct microphone. 
and then you're ready to start recording hover over the mirror display and click the record button we'll uh, go back to the main screen we'll open settings we'll select general and we'll go ahead and stop recording by clicking the red dot again reflector 3 will format and save the recording it'll take a little while even for a short recording when the recording has been formatted it will prompt you for the location to save it it will always default to desktop reflector recording dot mp4 and you can change the location I'll just go ahead and save it if I already had one it asked me do you want to override it here's the reflector 3 recording Note that the audio was also recorded while explaining the steps, and Reflector 3 only records the mirror display inside an empty rectangle. Surrounding desktop icons were not recorded. Here's the recording. From that point on, everything you do on the iPhone will be recorded in the Reflector 3 recording. We'll uh, go back to the main screen. We'll open Settings. We'll select General and we'll go ahead and stop recording by clicking the red dot again that's the end of the recording if you enjoyed this tom's tech notes video please like it and please leave a comment to watch my other videos or to read many computer help articles please visit my youtube channel or my website you can also click links in the video description when thumbnails appear, click at upper left to watch playlist iPhone. Click at lower left to watch playlist iPad. Click my photo to visit the Tom's Tech Notes channel. To subscribe, please click the red button. If you don't see the red button, hover over my photo to show it.